In dog training, there are a ton of tools that we can use to help us to reach our training goals. However, the tool that you may be missing is a platform. I want to share with you some of my favorite features about the Cato Outdoors Place Board and show you that platforms are an incredible tool that you can use to seriously up your training. We both suck. Oh, can you at least try to hit the board? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Cheers. Aside from using it for fun drinking games after the kids go down, the bottom crosshatch design, <laughs> the bottom crosshatch design makes the Kato super sturdy while keeping it relatively lightweight. Right, Karen? Huh? Kato Outdoors says the board can hold at least 200 pounds with minimal flexing. Seeing as I weigh over 200 pounds, let's check it out. Obviously a 200 pound limit is more than enough for just about any dog. So anybody should be able to use this confidently without having to worry about the board warping or flexing. Kato Outdoor says these things are incredibly durable and will not crack or chip. Karen says I'm super hard on my things. She's not wrong, so let's see. Lord knows I did not want to throw that thing. I did not want to waste 70 plus dollars throwing it for a YouTube video, but I did it, so. And it didn't crack or chip, so. Man. The history of platform training goes back to circus animals. It's most well known for their use with big cats. Though no one would condone the treatment of some of those animals, platforms did give the trainers the ability to have multiple cats out at the same time and keep them all relatively safe. Modern dog trainers can do something very similar with multiple dogs out on place boards. It's in a different way, but the Kato boards are super safe. There really isn't any part of this build that can cause any injury to your dog. The corners are rounded and the edges are beveled. And the no tip design will keep this thing level even with the most rambunctious of dogs. Even on uneven or slippery terrain, this thing still stays put. It's not moving. It's not going anywhere. Now dog training platforms aren't nearly as high as the ones that they use in the circus, but even a slight elevation helps make the separation from the platform to the ground an obvious boundary to both the dog and the trainer. This sort of isolation can help you teach your dog concise concepts in a short amount of time. I mean, you can teach your dog a good amount of the basic obedience on a platform. You can teach a few behavior management cues. You can do a little trick training. You can do some canine fitness and even sport and hunting dog work on a platform. <laughs>
If you want to see the main way we like to use the training platform in our training, then stick around to the end of the video. If you really like the Kato board or you'd like us to review any other products, let us know in the comments below. Another feature that I like is the fact that you can go with the rubber or the turf surfaces. Both I think are comfortable for the dog, so you really get your money's worth either way. But I really wish those surfaces were interchangeable and like easily interchangeable because depending on what I'm working on or where I'm working, that might determine which surface I prefer to use. So Kato Outdoors, if you're listening uh, and it's not too crazy, try to make the tops interchangeable. The non-absorbent molded designs with the little cutouts on the side, they make this thing super easy to clean super drainable so you don't have to worry about working your dog in the rain or worry about any mold or mildew collecting because all the water just slides off. One of the things we like to use in our training quite a bit is training loops which if we finish the video on it there'll be a link up here and one down in the description. So here's the big reveal. The main thing that I love to use the Cato board for is to teach a sit. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. You made me sit through this entire video so you could tell me how to teach my dog how to sit? Who doesn't know how to teach their dog how to sit? Look, I'm not saying that you don't know how to teach your dog how to sit, but what I am saying, this way is probably better. Get a dog, a leash, a treat, and a Kato. Start by luring the dog from left to right then marking get it and tossing the food on the floor. Once the dog is going back and forth for the food, I want to use that same motion to lure him onto the Kato board. Once the dog is coming onto the Kato board, I am then going to raise my treat above the dog's nose to get him into that sit. Once he's in that sit, I'm going to say get it and toss the food away from the Kato board. Again, using that same back and forth motion. When I can see that the dog will reliably sit just about every time I bring my hand up or even before I actually bring my hand up so the dog is anticipating, that's when I'm going to add my sit cue. Once I've got that sit on the Kato, that's when the magic happens. Now I can start changing the position of my body to help the dog see the different pictures that I want them to see for a sit. I can show the picture of the sit from the front or the side and I can also start my duration, distance and distraction work here. We don't need a platform, but we did give you some damn good reasons why you should consider using one. However, what you do need to get the most out of your platform training can be found in the next video.